Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today we're going to be building another cargo wagon for our extra long cargo train. Uh, oh, but where's Robin? Well, it looks like Robin is spoilt for toys at the moment. He's given up on his uh, Green Goblin glider and is now doing the brand new experience of a gyrosphere. And I've got to say, they're rather awesome. I kind of built the inside bit using pieces I already had. The other bits I got on my recent brick haul and gave them a good polish. And it just works so well. It's actually really good fun to push around the desk. So yeah, maybe he'll be playing in that for the uh, upcoming future. I have to sort of bend his feather into an unusual position for him in order to get the clearance on the inside. Otherwise he just doesn't go around with it or rather he does and starts doing upside down loops. Uh, but anyway, uh, sadly I've only got enough time for a relatively short video this Friday, uh, partly as I've been designing my double modular this week uh, that isn't really strictly a modular and it doesn't follow the sort of rules set by Lego, but it is coming out really, really well and it does look fantastically awesome. And I think it's going to end up being probably about a 12-part, I believe it or not. Yes, it is that big and that complex uh, over the summer or maybe late summer uh, at the very latest. Uh, one side of the whole build is completely done, kind of one base plate worth, if you will. And the other side has got three stories to it, uh, and I've done two of the stories. So it sounds relatively small, it's outstanding, but I'd say it was about 20% left. Uh, and wow, it's it's looking really colourful. It's got loads of complex build styles in it, techniques, sub builds and stuff like that. I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. So I've even started uh, trying to order some of the bricks for it, the side that I know about. Uh, so yeah, watch this space for that. So as a result, I've got a little less time to make today's video. Uh, so I thought I'd build a wagon for our cargo train because we do want to get it going all the way around our track, <laughs> or at least as near as we can. And the theme that I thought we'd use for today is milk. Because after all, uh, how can Far Corner Farm sell the produce of its cows to the rest of the country for a ridiculously low price fixed by the supermarkets if we don't have a milk tanker? Uh, and that is going to use these bricks as kind of, not cartons of milk, but this sort of decor pattern uh, around it. Now there are a few different varieties of this brick. There's the one with the cow on, which I prefer because it's uh, the most pretty I think there's a newer one with the uh, actual sort of glass of milk on the side of it and there's even that brand new one uh, for blue milk <laughs> with the bantha from Star Wars on the side of it uh, from the set 30625 Luke Skywalker with blue milk polybag uh, I do kind of have my arm buying one of those as well because it's just hilarious uh, even though I probably can't use it in my city but at the moment they're going for about 35 pounds <laughs> and that's kind of over my tolerance sort of threshold for what I'm prepared to spend on one minifigure, even though it is awesome. So I'm kind of hoping those are kind of the early bird prices and in future the cost of those will come down. Anyway, right, let's get on with building our milk wagon. Actually, playing with this gyrosphere on camera sort of gives me the idea for another sport that I might have invented, which is gyroscope bowling. Yeah, that works quite well. <laughs> I might have just invented something for you all to try at home <laughs> or for the Olympics to consider. Anyway, uh, on to the build uh, for our milk tanker. This is going to be largely based on these six by eight kind of cylindery pieces. I suppose they're probably curved slope pieces or uh, aircraft fuselage pieces or whatever you might think of them. Uh, and they make up indeed the large stalk of my Vestas wind turbine. And usually like that, you'd consider using the opposite side of it, the sort of inverted version uh, for the underside. But for some reason, that's got ridiculously hard to get hold of in the UK. On Bricklink, uh, there are only actually two UK vendors with any. One guy's got one for £3.50, <laughs> a bit too much. <laughs> and the other one's got three, and I'd need two, uh, for £11 each. I mean, what is going on there? So I've had to change my build not to include the sort of opposite number of this, which would kind of be about that shape, uh, but use different pieces instead. So I'm going to use kind of more of these uh, instead. And it's extra strange that there aren't any in the UK because there are loads of them in Europe as well. But mm, anyway, whatever. We'll uh, work around it. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a, basically a dark blue stripe or rather a regular blue stripe all around the middle of my wagon. Uh, and a much sort of thicker stripe that's going to be on top of that is going to be in 
one of my favorite colors actually this medium blue color uh, and ooh, hold on I haven't left enough space and this is where I'm going to be incorporating my uh, milk cartons essentially to make up part of the pattern so you see I'm deliberately leaving four gaps in between all these bricks on each side and that's just going to be the very sort of subtle patterning on the outside of the wagon so when I add these you'll see what I mean so in between the sort of white top section and the white bottom section we'll have a thin dark blue or well as I keep calling it normal blue sort of stripe there and then this medium blue stripe with loads of pictures of milk and cows which I think looks really nice so let me do the other side and I've added that brick right in the middle to give it a bit of support because the next layer that's going to go on top is these rather large white pieces so I'll put them on and I've actually just filled some of the external uh, axle holes with these half pins in blue partially because it's in the color scheme and partially so well the milk doesn't leak out so there we go uh, and then I may as well decorate the top while we're at it uh, so I'm going to basically have some plates here some of these sort of nice smooth ended slopes that looks rather nice and then I can have kind of a tile and grill sort of edging along there and these parts are all relatively hard to get hold of in medium blue but they are available on Lego bricks and pieces or were it seems that the selection last time I looked at Lego bricks and pieces has plummeted down and I don't know if that's just because of temporary supply issues or if that's the new style bricks and pieces is going to be much more uh, inferior but um, yeah hopefully not so that gives a little bit of detail on the top and on the ends uh, and what I'm going to have on the very end is one of these ladder pieces on each side so that's just going to kind of clip on there and clip down as well further down there uh, and I could have got this piece in medium blue as well it does exist in that color but I kind of figured that would be too much uh, medium blue for everyone uh, and basically I'm using this old dark gray color because it's a bit more sort of murky and I think looks absolutely appropriate now also they have the filling uh, sort of section right in the middle so I'm going to have a two by four plate a four wide dish and then kind of one of those big steering wheel pieces that you kind of think of as being on a safe door or something like that right on the top and there is the top section of my build I think that looks really good and the stripe's going to look even better when we've done kind of the next level down which is based on these white pieces so I'm going to need four of these because they're a lot smaller and they're a bit more shallow but that means that this isn't ridiculously tall to be honest because if we added one of those on there it'd be an incredibly deep tank uh, but what I'm going to do to here is just kind of level off the end add on a modified plate there on the bottom of some more plates just so it can clip onto one of those ladders and hold it in place and then add some two by three bricks and then we can start joining this all together with profile bricks because whenever you've got a great expanse of kind of space you always want to try and punctuate it with some profile bricks just to give it a little bit of interest even though it's in the same color it's just that change in texture makes all the difference if you ask me and it's always important when using these ones that we've got them all facing the same way uh, and don't have them doing sort of random things oh let me put that in first da, da, da. Da, da, da. Oh. Da, da, da. right so there is kind of our bottom section replacing the need for those pieces that we couldn't get and then I can try and oh, really squeeze these two sections together oh. and I think you'll agree that's looking rather nice isn't it rather authentic as well actually and then this oh that's very satisfying oh yes just clips in position and that stripe going all the way around the edges as well yeah I really like it a simple color scheme but one that I haven't used so far uh, on my cargo train so yeah I'm really liking that uh, tell me what you think uh, we better get on with now doing the uh, very basic kind of wheel setup and I have to think about what goes in between the wheels on the sides probably some way of getting the milk out again presumably all right so the bottom is made up of a 2x16 and a 2x12 plate first of all 
And of course, we will need some buffers, one on each end. So I'm going to try and build this up all on the bottom so we get a really good connection as opposed to building it separately and then adding it all together. There we go. So I'm going to have the wheels set up about there, I think. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's looking good already. Look at that. That looks really, really nice. Uh, but some uh, pieces for the end, just for a bit of variety. I'm using these slightly different shaped plates, just so it looks different from all the other ones on my train. Curved kind of out towards the buffers. I think that's quite an interesting shape, if you can see that. Now it's all sort of black on black. Uh, but yeah, that's really nice. I just kind of used them because, well, I had them already just from some sort of build that I must have bought and taken apart. Yeah, looking good there. Uh, and then for the middle, I thought I'd just use one of these modified bricks to take a one by six, or rather a two by six plate. I'm getting all my parts wrong today, uh, parts and colors even. Uh, so that's looking really nice. And then I'll just give that some details to say with some grills, a gauge, saying well how much is in it perhaps or maybe how fast it's coming out and then a gray version of those sort of steering wheel pieces and that must be how you get it out again presumably i don't think they siphon it do they anyway i think that looks suitably correct and then i could do the same thing on the other side or there and then just to secure those pieces on because they aren't uh, held on incredibly well i'm just going to have a uh, two by four and a four by four plate kind of sandwiching them ugh, together on the bottom and then that is our completed wagon and it is looking rather fantastic i absolutely adore this medium blue on top of the white color scheme and the normal blue stripe as well adds even more sort of strength and interest to it as well and the texture's right and the scale's right and these ladders are perfect and out of the way of the uh, buffers and magnets and all the rest of it so yeah i'm really happy with that uh, and the fact that we've got little cows all the way down the outside really adds to it if you ask me imagine the cost of making them all banthers that would be absolutely ridiculous wouldn't it <laughs> a tanker of blue milk uh, but talking of milk that's the one thing i still have to do i'll have to take this uh thing off so we can fill it up with genuine milk so uh yeah let's get going Right, so that's absolutely full to the brim now. So yeah, I can hear that sloshing around in there. Uh, now it is definitely ready for adding to our incredibly long cargo train for going around Brick Nottingham. Whoop, whoop. Okay, in Brick Nottingham. And right next to our in-development cargo yard with the train loco, whatever his name is, on top of the gantry temporarily, uh, we have our wonderful new milk wagon. And I think it looks absolutely great. And it even looks really extra special next to the white and blue of the cement mixer and next to the cows that help produce it. And yes, they do have horns, but yes, they are female because they have udders. <laughs> I've checked. <laughs> had a comment saying that they were male cows, but they're not. Uh, so yeah, I think that's looking really nice. And it definitely fits in the incredibly long cargo train, which goes all the way from... Whoop, just hidden behind there, all the way to, well, you can't really see it, underneath the castle. So I reckon we're almost up to three quarters of the way around the track. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing going. Uh, so get ready for some serious train noise. Oop, ah, oh no. Yep, well, that's a top tip for you. Uh, whenever you're picking up your train's remote control, be careful not to accidentally turn the dial when you didn't mean to, powerfully into reverse, <laughs> causing a massive derailment. Oh no, there's little bits of uh, grey stuff and coal absolutely all over the place. And this is a thing that I feared for a while, but at least it's happened here with this vast amount of spillage in an area I can reach. Because if it happened in the darkest recesses of one of the other corners, it'd be an absolute nightmare to retrieve all the bits. Oh, I'm quite glad I didn't say anything a bit stronger <laughs> when that came off. Right, I'm going to have to put this all back together again, uh, and then we'll give it a oh, trial run. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>
Right, all back together, and I think we can get it started again. I'm going to try and do it forwards <laughs> and slowly this time. There we go. Right, so there is our milk wagon. Yeah, it looks really good. And what I always like as a good test for a new wagon is if it looks exactly as you'd expect it to look from a distance. And I think people would immediately guess just from the colour scheme that this thing contains milk. So I really like that. And it gets a bit better when you look at the detail closer up. Oh yes, very good. Right, let's get some other trains going. So we'll get this one going the opposite direction. Okay, that might be a bit low on batteries now. We'll get the tram going as well. And see it through this gap. There it is, looking good. And through our developing cargo area, which I will be coming back to on Monday to put some of that lovely cargo that we made in. Oh, I love that tram going down the hill there. Fantastic. And you might have noticed I've temporarily moved the boutique hotel here. And I think that looks really good. That was on uh, Mrs. Hood's suggestion, which means that in due course, I will be moving to somewhere else in the supermarket to re, uh, re empty, if that's a word, that spot for the new build that I mentioned earlier that I've been designing. Oh, that's got stuck. Don't know what's gone on there. Oh, it doesn't seem happy at all. Hang on. That's weird. I'll have to address that later. It must be the track sort of... Uh... Oh, it's the building, isn't it? I forgot I haven't moved that building yet. Yeah, it's just ploughed straight into the side of that. Yeah, very disorganised. I must uh, must try harder. <laughs> well... <laughs> oh, let's have one last look at that milk truck. There we go. Yeah, I really, really like that. And then for one of the best scenes at the moment, I think, looking through the gap all the way through to our fairground. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Well, do let me know what you think of that and the rest of the incredibly long train. So as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be doing the cargo area, redoing this racking after your suggestions and the last brick haul where we got all the parts to make these double heights. So they'll each have kind of four bays in them. And I'm going to do them in a different configuration and everything. Uh, and hopefully we'll start to add all the cargo to them as well. But uh, that might see that area finished or at least advanced. Then a brick haul and you can send me a package to the usual address if you want to do so for a future brick haul. Uh, and then on Friday we'll do another mock build or if we've got time yet more of our wonderful fairground which is really shaping up there in the distance. Uh, we've only really got this sort of grey area to fill with green and more rides uh, and I think that is looking really awesome through all the gaps in the building. So yeah fantastic. So until all of that see you!